I was stressed all the weekend, so please stop with these jokes. A joke or not, it has to be taken seriously. But what, what shocked me is that the director didn't close the school. When, when we have to deal with uh, threats, it's, it's really not easy for us. But, you know, the presence of the police is really reassuring. You can see Montreal police patrolling outside this high school. It's one of many that authorities say has been the target of online threats in the last few days. Cavalier de la Salle remained open, though, as Montreal police announced Monday they arrested multiple teens involved in at least eight threats towards an array of schools across the island. Officers deployed as a precaution measure across the greater Montreal areas and there's this social media phenomenon that was that's going on with all the uh, confession sites on social media the, the main thing is that uh, the, the teenagers they post a thread online saying for example that there's gonna be a shooting at school or a stabbing at school there's gonna be a lot of people killed at those schools Six teens, 13 to 17 years old, were arrested linked to threats made at at least three schools. On Monday, a school in Chateauguay on Montreal's South Shore shut its doors due to the threats. The school board overseeing Cavalier de la Salle says they remained open on recommendation from police, but some students say they felt unsafe. I just didn't go to school because I was stressed. Even if we go to school, we have an exam. We wouldn't be in a state of mind to do an exam. I felt kind of scared because we don't know who it is. So we constantly live in a feeling like, uh, is it him or is it her or who is it? The SPVM cybersecurity team is monitoring social media and officers are warning teens to avoid jumping on the trend. People, they believe that it's confidential. They believe that it's anonymous, but it's not. We possible to trace them back. There are ways for um, law enforcement to identify individuals that are trying to remain an anonymous and that's uh, that's working with ISPs, the inter sorry, the internet service providers, it's working with the different platforms. Police remain on the ground at affected schools, encouraging people to call 911 if they spot online threats. It's really serious, those kind of threats, and we can't take that lightly. That is not all right. It's supposed to be a safe learning space, not a, not a threatening. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.